So concern for the poor is at the heart of Christianity. Care for the poor is not an option. Uh, James in the epistle summarizes the gospel message when he says, pure religion is this, to care for the widow and the orphan in their distress and to keep oneself unstained from the world. Which means if we're going to exercise charity and justice, we have to do our best to see the world as it is and act accordingly. Because without that, we can actually create injustice. Justice can be destroyed in two ways. By the violent act of the man who possesses power and by the false prudence of the sage. There are, there are philosophical and theological errors that lie behind the dominant view of the poverty industry. So one is that we have treated poor people as objects. Objects of our charity, objects of our pity, and objects of our compassion. Instead of thinking of poor people as subjects, unique, unrepeatable subjects who should be the protagonists of their own story of development. If we shift the question from how do we solve poverty to what do people need to create prosperity in their own families and their own communities? Then, it sounds like a small shift, but it's a complete different way of thinking, and it opens us up to this question of justice. As I said, poverty is complex. There's no single solution. Good people can disagree. There would be a lot of disagreement about the best policies to enact in this room. And there's no single solution, there's no panacea to poverty. Right? Markets and trade are essential, but markets will not save you, only Jesus can do that. Okay? But when it comes to helping poor in the developing world, the problem is not fundamentally one of charity or redistribution. The problem is that the poor lack access to justice so that they can become the protagonists of their own story of development and they can create prosperity in their families and their communities. Thank you for your time.